Ghana, in the western part of Ghana, and then Accra Tema in the eastern part of Ghana, or southeastern part of Ghana. Both of these twin cities have the seaports. The first seaport that was built by the British is at Sekendi Takradi. And the one over here was made by Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Then he built this trunk road where we drove on to where we are. It's a concrete road. That's about 18 miles. Concrete road. The reason why Kwame Nkrumah built this road is to have it in a triangular form. So it was named the Triangular Road. Build a concrete road from the harbor to Kumasi, which is the interior forest from Kumasi to Takrade, which is also the uh, harbor city, and from harbor city to another harbor city. So it's going to be like from here to here, thus to here, and then back. So that when you cut your goose, it will not be difficult for you to transfer from here to Kumasi or from Kumasi to Takradi, from Takradi to Accra. But immediately he finished with this one, the following year he was ousted, so he couldn't continue. And this road also that you are driving on is known as West African uh, 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 Trans Road. West Africa. And the road passes through all the West African countries. It starts from Nigeria, through Benin, through Togo, passes through Ghana, through Ivory Coast, and it continues to the West. It's just one road. Trans West African Highway. From here, we can see the industrial area. The industrial area is on your right hand side. The original name of that town is not Teman. It's called Toman. 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 But when the Europeans came, they could not pronounce the word To. They say Te. Instead of To, they say Te because of their donation. It is a Ga city or a Ga area. Ga is a language of a people in Accra. And when the, the town started, it wasn't like this. It was a farming area where people go there to grow gods. You know gods? G O U R D S, gods. It's in the form of a big calabash. In the olden days, that is what our parents store water. It is the best fridge you can get in the whole world. The natural one. When you get it, there's a fruit inside. You, you get it, open it. Oh, okay. Uh, and then you remove the food, leave it in the sun to dry, and then we put camphor or mouth box. Sometimes, what I, I saw my grandma doing that, with the opening place, you will have a palm kernel things, palm kernel. And then they put a little, put it down, put a little bit of fire, there will be a smoke, and put the gauze on it. We thought she was performing some magic. <laughs> so the smoke goes inside, and it gives a nice flavor, natural flavor, in the water. Currently, we said purified, and we use chemical, but that one is non-chemical base. They put it in, and it purifies inside, even if there is any microbial insect, it kills it. 
before you put in water to drink. And always it is cool. So it was named Kula. Just to cool water for you. Yeah, Kula. So that is what they were growing here and they named that and after this area. Tall man. What does God sound like? Come again. What does the language sound like? Everybody speaks to us in English mostly. So what does um what the, does gar sound like? The gar <clears throat> Yesterday I told you a little bit about the gar. <laughs> that they were originally in Israel. <laughs> and then from Israel, uh, they migrated from there because of war to you know in those days Israelis were fighting all over. Mm -hmm. for, they left the uh, to Ethiopia. They stayed in Ethiopia for over 400 years. And then finally, Ethiopia to the host world, they left there to eastern Nigeria. Ife area to be precise. They also stayed there for over 200 years. And then there was also war. They are peace people. They are peace loving people. They don't like war, war. So immediately the war started, they gathered some few things, let's go. Looking for a place to stay. So from Ife, they came to Ghana. At that time, it wasn't Ghana. Uh, 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 it was then the Gold Coast. And they came in such badges and settled along the coasts. When they came, the food that they have got finished. What are they going to eat? They can't eat pizza. They can't eat, uh, uh, at that time, hot dogs. You know what, when I heard the name hot dogs, I said, what is this? Does it mean our dogs are cold? <laughs> so, uh, God gave them an idea to plant a corn. And during that period, one month period, they were praying and fasting, asking God, what do we do next? What do we do next? So by planting the corn, the corn did well, and they used to make uh, a certain type of food. In Accra, we call it pepli, pepli. It's a corn food. So that became their annual festival. And the name of the annual festival called Homowo. Homowo literally means hooting at hunger. We were hungry, now we have enough food, so we have to hoot at hunger to leave our midst, hooting at hunger. Currently, uh, they, they have sown the corn, and uh, they are in fasting, currently. Uh, in exactly a month's time, they will uh, uh, harvest the corn and use it for their annual festival. A lot of things has been added to it currently, and it's from a pageantry. Yeah. <coughs> is a gas settlement but it was in the bush currently as part of the industrial area when you go to Tema industrial area what do they have uh, they have a flour mill uh, they have a uh, uh, Nestle Ghana limited Nestle is all over the world they produce Milo uh, how do you call it chocolate Milo uh, some people call it Milo some call Milo, some call it chocolate. <laughs> All came out of cocoa. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we have much cocoa in Ghana. Uh, it's always on the world markets. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, oil producing companies. Uh, American company known as Valco. They also smelt iron in dust. To get iron sheets and other things, they take it to America. 
and other, uh, a, a small portion is being sold in Ghana. Oh, we have a flour mill. We have a lot and lot of steel mill, uh, steel companies. Uh, we have a company too that crashes old metal to make steel out of it. Kwame Nkrumah built Tama in a certain way. When they were building the Tama Harbor, the other co communities that we have, he named them Committee 1 up to 21. So every committee, Committee 1, Committee 2, Committee 3, and they saw the, the same name committees. So he built a low cost houses for the workers who are working at the Tama Harbor. That will boost their morale to finish the work that they are doing. Currently, we have a uh, term up to Committee 28. <laughs> okay, if there is any question. If there is any question. I know you have a question for me. Yeah, so, go <laughs> Thank you. How many miles? Thank you. How long is this road? This road, as I said, is part of the trunk road that starts from Nigeria uh, all the way to Liberia. So it passes through 15 countries. 15 countries. It's known as West African Highway, Trans West African Highway. So as we are driving right now, it goes down to Nigeria. And when traveling to Nigeria, maybe from Accra, it might take between uh, six to eight hours. You have to pass through Ghana, brother, you cross to Togo, another country, it's a French country. You cross from Togo to Benin, another French country. Then you cross from Benin to Nigeria. And when you get to Nigeria, uh, you first get to Lagos. Currently, we all know that formerly in Nigeria, their capital was Lagos. Currently, it's Abuja. There's no more Lagos. They've changed. They build a new city. 